Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a plan with me and I'm going to be planning for the week of, uh, I don't remember the dates, but this is my friend Ilza of Ilza Planned It's birth week. And I asked her what kind of kit she would like me to use and she said Harry Potter. So I had this one and I'm really excited for it. So the first part of, part of this where I'm doing the base I didn't speed up because I have some questions and stuff I wanted to talk about and I did like I'm doing a voiceover for the entire plan with me so it's not going to be like a super long one and I just made that decision. So I am currently using a Simply Gilded washi and I'm whiting out the lines for them. I was really unsure if I wanted to use this washi or not, like I wasn't sure if it would match enough, but I decided like in the long run that it did. And Elsa also loves silver foil, so I wanted to use silver foil for her spread. So um, I used the like full box confetti tapes from Girlboss Anna and I, what else did I do? Oh my gosh, I don't even have my planner in front of me. It's okay. I'll get that out in a second. Um, I think that's about it. I know I pulled in some foil. I am very not prepared. I'm so sorry. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I also wanted to mention, I'm a mess over here, that I pulled in these like DIY date covers from Rose Colored Days. And I use silver, like I said, I'm using silver for this spread. And then I also pulled in a Sadie Stickers like Galaxy Bottom Washi Overlay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the questions. We're talking about mental health again because I asked y'all if you were cool with that. And the majority said yes. So if you're not the majority, I'm so sorry. We can't make everybody happy. And um, I hope you still enjoy this video. So I did get a couple like similar questions. So one of them was, how do you find a therapist that works for you? I think I need to start, but I'm overwhelmed. It can be very overwhelming. I have had two therapists in my lifetime. My first one I started going to after I got out of the hospital my junior year of high school. And... I like connected with her like we got along really well like right off the bat and then over time it ended up not like working out so it's almost like a friendship but it's obviously like not a friendship because it's like your doctor but you want to be able to like feel comfortable telling them anything and feel like you get along well I don't really know how else to explain it but I love my therapist that I have now. I've been seeing her for almost two years now, and I am still, like, having a really good time and benefiting a lot from it. So I went on psychology today, and that's where I found mine, um, and I don't really know what else to tell you. I got pretty lucky with finding ones that worked out for me, but definitely, like, know that sometimes it's not always going to happen right off the bat and you might have to go through a couple but what's most important is that you are comfortable and that you are benefiting from it. I hope that helps. <laughs> uh, another one was what to do when people tell you you're too emotional. How do you explain that emotions don't feel the same for everybody? I think anybody that tells you that you're too emotional isn't somebody that you should really like keep in your life or at least have them as much in your life because like I don't know your emotions are your emotions and anybody that tries to disregard them isn't a really good person for you. Um, I've had to learn that the hard way. Not everybody understands mental health. I've dated people in my past that didn't think that depression was real and that anybody who had suicidal thoughts was just like looking for attention and I think that everybody has the right to believe what they want to and you also get to choose 
who you have in your life. So, um, I think if it's somebody that you really want to keep in your life, just kind of explaining like, hey, I get that you might think that, you know, my emotions are a little overwhelming, but they're mine and I hope that you can respect that. And I don't know, I don't really know what else to tell you. That's just how I would kind of approach that situation. Um, oh, one of my friends, my best friend, Delilah, she asked, what are your favorite distractions on your bad days? And I know that I had another question from Jonelle. I believe that's how you say her name. Um, that was really similar. Um, so right now I'm definitely, uh, not in a good place with my depression. I'm not doing too hot right now. And I find that when I'm in these really low lows, I'm not really good at doing my distractions that I know of. I mean, I've been dealing with my mental illnesses for many years, and I've learned a lot of coping skills. And I've learned what works for me, but that doesn't mean that I'm always going to do them. So things that help distract me are painting. I get to focus on the picture that I'm making and that I'm able to make something beautiful even if I don't feel that I am beautiful <laughs> or I like writing. Writing is a good source of getting my emotions out as well. I am normally like pretty afraid though. Like right now I want to write about my ex-boyfriend and because I haven't really processed the breakup but I'm a little scared that I'm going to get really really upset. And it's okay to get really upset. I just, I'm really hard on myself. So I love writing, but sometimes it's really scary. I find that talking to friends can be helpful, even if you're not talking about exactly like what's going on, because sometimes like you need to talk about something else. That's good. Work is always a good distraction for me. Um, playing games with my family, that's another thing. Um, I think just anything that keeps your mind occupied that you can like focus on something else is really good. I'd say music but I tend to listen to really sad songs when I'm sad and it just like you know it's adding fire to the flame. Um, how have you introduced your mental health to new partners? Do you lay it all out or keep it private? Um, I'd say it like differs. I don't like randomly like when we're talking about what our favorite foods are I'm not like oh by the way I'm like super depressed um I kind of wait for it to come into the conversation sometimes I will like kind of make the first step into like directing it in that way um how personal do I want to get on here um as a survivor of assault um, some things are very hard for me, and it's important for me to let my partner know that. Um, that I'm going to be really vague about this because I haven't talked openly about this, and I don't know how I feel like about it. Um, but that's something that I have to, for my sake, and also for my partner's sake, um, kind of like let them know about. And... That normally like starts the conversation so that's like when we're like further into the relationship and things are going to the next step um, but if not like I don't know I'm really honest with my feelings if someone asks me how I'm doing even and I'll say like yeah not really having a good day like I could just, it just like depends on the vibe like I feel like I've had both ends of it where some people like understand and they're like oh yeah like I've dealt with depression too and like I said I have dated someone who did not believe that that was a real thing and I you know I stayed in that relationship for longer than I should have but I think when you're comfortable is probably a good time or when you feel that it's necessary like if you're having a really really hard time and you like need to talk to somebody about it and your partner is that somebody that you want to talk to about it then I think kind of easing into that and just like opening up about hey like I'm I'm struggling right now this is what I want and need from you 
would be a good way. And then after maybe you feel comfortable telling them that you're upset, then later on you can, you know, kind of explain why you're upset. So you don't have to, that's the thing, you can always tell somebody, like anybody, like with my family um, and the assaults, I said that they happened and that I wasn't ready to talk about it, but when I was ready, I would go to them. So sometimes you just need somebody that is going to be there for you and you don't have to explain everything that's going on. You can do that at a later time when you feel more comfortable doing it. I hope that's helpful. Um, when you know the worst is yet to come with a very sad life event, how to brace yourself for it. This is something that I feel like I've done a lot of work in therapy for. Like I said, when I'm having like really bad depressive episodes, even though I feel like my entire life is like an episode, I don't know, what is it, like a TV show series now? Um, when I'm not in those low lows, I definitely try to learn more things that I can do and have those like on my tool belt for when things happen. So that's learning different breathing exercises or learning different coping skills. And sometimes just having them there is comforting for knowing when you're going to need them because sometimes you forget to think when you're, you know, dealing with everything. But I don't know like what exactly, what event you're talking about. If you want to message me about it, you can. Um, you don't have to. You guys can always message me, but again, if you're not comfortable, you don't have to. I'm just letting you know that I'm here for you. Um, but I don't know. Like, I've I've dealt with um, my aunt passing away. That was really hard on me. And I kind of knew that it was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen as sudden as it did. And with that, I didn't really know how to prepare for it either. I just like made sure that I was taking care of myself and that I was surrounding myself with positive people. Um, I hope that's helpful. I feel like I'm saying that like after each thing. I I don't know if I'm giving like good advice or whatnot. Um, uh, the next question is, are you an extrovert or an introvert? I feel like I'm like a mix. I'm definitely introverted, but I can be more extroverted when I'm comfortable and like around people that I know. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm definitely very closed off. Um, I don't like going in like big crowds or anything. I get very paranoid and very anxious and I'm not going to be the first person to like say hey or like if I'm sitting on a bench and someone comes and sits next to me, like I'm not going to make the effort to like say hi. So I feel like I'm definitely like somewhere in the middle. Um, you guys also sent like some really sweet messages on here. Um, what is your favorite self-care activity? I love like doing my self-care night for the week is always washing my hair and doing a face mask and like taking a bath, shaving my legs, you know, like doing all the things because like, I obviously do some of those things, like, like, I shower every day, and more recently, I've been trying to wash my hair maybe twice a week to try and get some of the purple out, but doing it all in, like, one, you know, sitting takes, like, maybe around, like, an hour most, probably more, like, 30 to 45 minutes, actually, um, but it's just, like, dedicated time, and I listen to music, and it just feels really good, like, to know that I was, like, taking care of myself. Um, it, I mean, self-care can literally be anything. And Ilza definitely talks about this, too, because I know she had a really hard um, time with her pet. Um, but I don't even want to say pet, but her, her cat, her kitty, her daughter passing away. And... Um, she even just talked about like sometimes just making sure that you're showering or brushing your teeth is self-care and that really is 
true. Drinking water is self-care. Anything that is taking care of yourself is literally self-care. So it doesn't have to be a face mask. Like, if you like going on walks, go on a walk. You know, that's self-care. Um, and then the last question that I have is, minus your dog as support, how does your family help you? I feel very blessed that my family has been a really great support system. My mom is a therapist, so she has the background and obviously my my family, you know, they love me, I love them, and they've been very, like, accepting, and whenever I'm ready to talk, I know that I can talk to them. They've also been there through all of my different hospital stays, and I, like, even when I, like, get upset over a boy, I know that I can, like, cry and talk to my parents, and that they're not gonna, like, judge me or anything. Um, I feel very blessed that I have them, and obviously Noelle, my dog, is great support. Um, She doesn't like to cuddle that much, but sometimes when I'm, like, crying a lot, she'll, like, come and lay next to me and let me pet her, so I think she, like, kind of understands. Um, but that's all the questions that I got. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about how I'm doing. I'm currently filming this on Thursday night. Uh, I've had these clips done for a little bit. I filmed the base ahead of time. And I filmed the stickers a couple nights ago. But I've just been so busy with work. And then I'm like really tired because I'm working six out of seven days a week. and like mentally I'm not doing too hot right now, but you know, I'm just keeping going. And also like my back really hurts right now. <laughs> That's just like another thing to add to the list. But so I've been trying to go to bed like a little bit earlier. And so that's why this video is coming out on a Friday. But I don't know. I am still obviously dealing with the breakup, which I'm Like, it's hitting me a little bit harder than other ones have, and I feel like that's, like it, I don't want to call it silly, but it surprises me because I was dating this guy for a little over a month, and I wasn't this distraught from a relationship that I was in for over a year, but that just shows you that every relationship is different, and emotions are different, and... I'm definitely at a different point in my life now, and this year has already just been, like, such a mess. It's just, it did feel like, you know, that everything was just not working out. Everything was wrong, and I didn't have anything good in life. And when I, sometimes I think like that, and I need to direct myself and, you know, redirect myself and be like, actually, no, like, you have people in your life that care about you and love you. You have a job that you're doing and you're still getting up every day. Like, girl, so proud of you. So I try to, you know, pep talk myself and talk myself up sometimes. But I also want to make sure that I'm allowing myself to feel these emotions because, you know, they're not going anywhere if I don't acknowledge them. They're just going to, like, stay there and probably get worse. Which is why it is one of my goals this week to hopefully write about um, my ex-boyfriend. It's really hard. I don't know. How do you guys deal with a breakup? Like, it's just, it's really hard where, like, everything reminds me of him. And I still have pictures of him. And I'll, like, look at them. Like, in therapy this week, I was talking about him. And I just started bawling my eyes out. And I was just thinking about this one picture. It was actually a video of us, like, kissing with our masks on. Because we're, we were both dorks. And just, like, thinking about that and, like, how happy we were. Or how happy I was. I don't know if he was happy, too. But just, like, how I thought that that was, like, 
like I didn't think it was gonna end <laughs> and then you know it ends and yeah so we broke up on uh Tuesday yeah with a, a text message right before I went into therapy though thankfully because I feel like so many things happen like after I get out of therapy and I'm like dang I gotta wait two weeks for this to be talked about but um I did get to go to therapy again this week um and I get to go next week as well which I'm like really thankful for um because I had a credit with her and I need to find a way to make it work to where I can go every week because I'm definitely it benefits me a lot more so yeah I don't know we're almost done here I'm doing the sidebar right now I use these Sadie stickers um white with silver bows headers for the like in between I don't know what I'm putting in the sidebar like I think I'm gonna probably put a sticker in there for Elsa's birthday and then probably like a heartbreak munchkin because that's me it's just it's so weird for me to like still be like so hung up I'm just like normally the type of person when something ends like I don't want to say I get over it but I kind of like get the feelings out and I'm able to like move on but I, I don't know if it's because I haven't like gotten all those feelings out yet or what but I just keep hoping that he changes his mind and that he'll message me and be like I'm so sorry I made a big mistake and I shouldn't be thinking like that but that's kind of where I'm at right now sorry like I'm not the most positive person but that's what y'all get so sorry anyways I think we're about to get into the day by day whoop whoop let's see we ready we ready to fight panthers win tonight I don't know what I'm doing here oh okay I'm doing the overlay now uh, I didn't film putting my header overlays on but I used like confetti ones on the top and bottom row and then I used star ones from Sadie stickers through the center for the full boxes I have some from like rose colored days and Sadie stickers so you guys will see that when we zoom in also this is the last week that you guys are gonna see in this cloud because I have another one that came in and I'm so excited um, but for the next plan with me I did have my friend Becca over and we were planning in our planners together so I did my base already for next week off camera I'm so sorry but I will film the rest of it don't worry so I put in this pill bottle on the sidebar for marking and taking all of my meds because some nights I just take some and I'm really bad about that I need to take all of them and that is from Fox and Pip then on Monday I did upload this day so I used a clever gal crafts bow and an upload script from Kinsey's creations and then I marked that I got Taco Bell with a Taco Bell script from Murdoch Talks and the tacos are from Crafts by Towie. I also got boba with my friend Becca this day and for boba this week I used these smoothie stickers from Once More With Love. I don't have a lot of boba stickers and I'm on like a no spend right now so I'm gonna have to just like use what I can right now. Then I marked that I called Zach and I'm gonna keep that in because he's my ex now and we're not following each other on Instagram so there's no privacy issues anymore um, but I called him and I marked that with a once more love sticker then I got a car wash this day CC was definitely needing it I used this stick with the plan co girl and a car wash script from Kinsey's creations I also had to pick up my birth control this day and 
that's when I realized that it was $50 for three months. And I was like, I can't be spending that much money on all of my meds. I literally can't afford that. So I like talked with my parents about it and they were able to help me like get my meds for this month and also like set me up with like the good RX so I can get them for like a more affordable price. <laughs> yes, that's very helpful. And I used a once more love sticker for marking picking up my meds. And then I used this sticker from Crafts by Towie. I, it's from her, like, I have an icon for that bundle. I bought it in black. I should have bought it in all the foils if I had the money, though. Um, and a planned script for marking that I planned and filmed this day. Then on Tuesday, I had therapy. So I marked that with this munchkin from Once More with Love. Oh, I still need to put date dots in. I've been really bad about that. Then I marked that we are done for marking my breakup because I didn't really know what else to put. <laughs> like, But I used a heartbreak munchkin from Once More Love because that's how I felt and feel. All right. Um, I also did do my hair this day. I used a straightener a little icon from Crafts by Towie, but I actually like waved it with this like waver crimper thing and I've been really liking doing that I think it's like really, really cute and then I did make frosting this day um, I wasn't scheduled to I was scheduled to frost but I ended up having to make some frosting so I marked that with a Rory's Sweet Addiction sticker so cute and I went to this place called Snow Mo with Becca and we were gonna go there to get like uh, like shaved ice because it said that they had it there but then we were like oh my gosh they have boba and so we got boba instead and then I had a game night with my parents we played this like Monopoly card game and um, it was really fun and then I got Dairy Queen with my parents I used a Dairy Queen script from Kenzie's Creations and an ice cream sticker from Once More With Love then on Wednesday I uploaded again so I used the same stickers I did on Monday I was baker's assisting and frosting this day, so I marked that with the Rory's Sweet Addiction sticker. I got boba by myself this day, which, you know, that was fun too. I love getting like milk tea and tapioca. It's my new favorite. I was getting matcha before, but milk tea is so good. It reminds me of like British tea. Um, I got Taco Bell this day, which was a treat from Delilah because we FaceTimed and I was like oh we can FaceTime and eat dinner and she freaking sent me money to go and get Taco Bell so we could eat Taco Bell together on FaceTime like I literally love Delilah so much um so I used this like two blonde girl sticker for that because I'm naturally blonde Delilah's blonde so it just like made sense I don't know and then I also used the Delilah script from Kinsey's Creations then on Thursday I frosted all day and I was on cakes because it's I guess it's like a new Thursday thing like Becca and I are the only frosters working and um, I'm on cakes all day like the like 8 and 10 inch cakes and she'll be doing everything else and anyways I used a letters to Apollo sticker for that and then we went and got Sonic afterwards because we like deserved it we worked so hard so we got some like cherry limeade, some mozzarella sticks, and some chili cheese tots. It was really great. The hot dog stickers from Once More Love. And then we did go to Michael's so I could look for white paint, which I could not find. I don't know why it was like sold out in Michael's. But I used a Michael's script from Planet Hannah and a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker. And then I used the Sad Bee sticker from Planet Hannah with a Heartbreak Munchkin because it's his life. Um, and then I did do some planning, so I used that, a, um, once more love planner thing, and a plan script from Ice Cream Joe. Then, on Friday, it was Ilza's birthday, so I had to mark that with, um, this, like, squared off third box, and an emoji, and then it was payday, so I used a payday script from Kinsey's Creations, and a money bag icon from Crafts by Towie. And then I did have to go to, did had to, did have to go to H-E-B, so I used a, another icon from Crafts by Towie. 
I know I'm like a little bit ahead of myself, but don't worry, I'll get behind. Uh, I also had a Taco Bell this day because Taco Bell is life. I had a really bad headache all day and I wasn't really sure why, but it wasn't really fun. So I used a munchkin for that. And I used another sad bee sticker with a sad munchkin because, like I said, tis life. <sighs> yeah, it is one of those weeks where I used a lot of sad stickers, but that's okay. That's how it's going to be this week, too. Don't worry, you guys. I have a lot of sad stickers. If you haven't seen my sticker collection video, definitely go check that out. It's my last video that I uploaded. And you can see all of the sad stickers that I have because they're really cute. Moving on to Saturday. Saturday, I was so tired from the week. Like, I hadn't had a day off since the previous Sunday. And I was just, like, dead. So... I used this Nope sticker from Fox and Pip and the Tired AF script from Letters to Apollo. I did make a bunch of frosting this day. Actually, not a bunch. I think I maybe made six batches, which I guess is a lot. Um, and I used a Crafts by Towie apron for that. I did go to Hobby Lobby, which was not my... It's not my store of choice because of many reasons, but, like, it's... You know, it's not my favorite, but I had to get white paint, and I could not find it at Michael's. So I went there, and I got white paint. And then I also had a Chick-fil-A. My parents had gotten it for me, so when I got home, I had it. It was really great. And I used a Chick-fil-A script from Letters to Apollo and a cup from Coffee Monsters Co. And then I washed my hair. I used a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker and a Letters to Apollo script for that. And then I took a nap, which was me accidentally falling asleep, like, super early and waking up at, like, 5 in the morning, being like, oh my gosh, I, I just meant to take a nap. Anyways, I used a Heflump sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. for that. Then on Sunday, Noelle had a vet appointment. Her eye was bothering her, and I was, like, super worried. So I actually didn't take her. My parents did. And she's okay. She's taking, like, eye drops now. But those paw prints are from Crafts by Towie. I went to First Watch, which was for brunch with Becca. And then she came over. We planned. We did some painting. And I also watched Frozen 2 for the first time. A little disappointed, honestly. I love Frozen 1. Frozen 2 was like, alright. Um, and then I did watch Dinner for Schmucks that night um, by myself. But that's okay. I use this, like, cat couple sticker for that because Noelle is, like, my night person, you know? I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that was this week. I think I'm going to maybe zoom out. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I think I was looking for a sticker. Um... Oh yeah, I, was, I found a bunch of scripts from Kenzie in my like sampler book, and I was putting those in whenever I could. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around with me, even though I'm literally a mess, and I don't understand why you guys like my videos, but I appreciate it. I really do. And I hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourselves, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!